Hello. Oh, it's breeding season at the moment, so we're getting two all the time. Someone called me out for one yesterday. I reached behind and I was like, see, so we've got two heads or it's two snakes. So One's on the move, but we've got nine on it. We'll get that one, one yeah. first, yeah. I guess. And the other uh, one's in the fountain. In the fountain? Yeah. This fountain? No, there's the one down there. Okay. How are you, mate? Yeah, good. Where's this one on moving? Oh, just there? Right here? Oh, right there. So one there? Yep. And one there. Yep. Hello, mate. What are you doing? Yeah, we'll deal with you first because you look like you're on the move. And then I might just... Um, you don't mind if I film this because this is pretty cool? I might just sit the camera here where I can sort of see both of them. Or uh, at least this guy first. And um, we'll take care of him because he looks like he wants to get on the move. Hello, dude. No, no, no. You're quite a large snake, actually. You might be the lady. Oh, whoa. Are you missing your tail or is that... Yeah, no, he is. Hello. Hey, hey. Behave yourself. They yeah. are missing your tail. Wow, that's a real, st you're a real stumpy one, mate. Hey. Is that, is that the boy, your boyfriend over there? I think this is the girl. Ah. I reckon it's a breeding pair and they're just coming out for the night, probably looking for supper. Um, when you said two, I thought maybe perhaps you're going to have two fighting at first, which would be the boys and then the girl would be not far around. But judging by the size of this one, I think it's the girl. Show us your bloody... Wow, that's right on the cloaca. The cloaca is at the very end. So if this snake had been bitten a centimetre further, it would have died. Huh? Yeah, so... But thankfully it can just poo and it can just wee and reproduce and all that. So, um, so there's one. Did you guys want a good look or get a photo or anything? Nah, you're okay. good. You do your thing. Um, I should hopefully get a few good photos that I can send you anyway. But um, yeah, to sort of have a quick look at the tail, make sure it wasn't a recent injury. But no, it's an old healed up wound. Hey. Which means it will survive like that, but yeah, any further back and it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't have its hole to, it's just the cloaca because they reproduce and two and me from it from the same place, but yeah, if they lose that, they're gone. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll actually. Do you I'll want just, us to film you? It's up to you if you want to. I just hate being a pain in the backside. Right. Um, hopefully I've got a good shot of that one. Uh, it should already be going. So I'm happy to send it to you as well. Um, yeah. Well, let's get a close up of it. Because it's not going anywhere, this one. And where's its head? Oh, its head's there. Right there. Blending in very well. Okay. And this one is a bit smaller. The boys are normally a little bit smaller. Oh, and this one's being a bit more well behaved. You're being a bit more well behaved. Hey. Hello. Who's doing it scaring everyone? Yes. <laughs> this one's a little bit wet. Are you trying to go for a swim? Sometimes if they're coming onto a shed cycle, this one looks like it's actually recently shed. But the, um, they try and look for places with higher humidity or sometimes even soak themselves as well. So if they've got a skin nearby, that could be what it's been doing. Yeah. But I'd say at this time of night, they probably have both been in your roof making baby snakes um, oh great so if you do have any babies hatch and you're seeing the little ones around um in the next few months don't panic because most of them will actually be eaten by birds within the first few weeks mm -hmm. anyway but you can see how well behaved they are that one was a little bit yeah. spooked but we are i am coming up to them and actually touching them if we just leave them alone you'll be safe every time but this one in particular you can see how sweet and gentle this one's been hello I say that now, yeah. <laughs> but, but no, because I'm not being yeah. threatening with yeah. my body language or anything to it, I'm not squeezing it or hurting it, so but, um, you can go in and I assume, yeah, so I assume you can't just look at them and see whether it's a boy or a girl generally, but because the females um, 
gets a little bit bigger. Yeah, so take more of your body weight there, mate. Because the um, females get bigger, I'd assume that's a girl. Otherwise, if they were two boys, they'd most likely be twisted around and actually fighting each other. Yeah. A lot of people think it's mating, but if they're twisted and trying to pin each other's heads down,